Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the infected today, 9.6. Uh, today we are going to go back uh, to the glass house. Uh, we do need to build some power here, uh, but I've uh, rearranged the windmills a little bit. And I've replaced all of the ingots, so we're pretty good on that. My only concern, oh, I want to pick onions before I go. My only concern uh, right now is, um, not ripe, okay. That's kind of what I thought. Um, having enough steel, but we probably have enough for today. Need to grab, uh, oh, I never turned it on, so we're fine. We'll just take what we have, oops. There we go. The wrong buttonitis continues. Uh, but one of the things that we will be able to do today is uh, we will be able to um, put concrete down. I got the cement and a bunch of stuff over to the glass house. That thing is so awesome. Can't hardly even stand it. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I'll set that down. Now I have two melons. It's awesome. And we're going to go right straight through this gate. And uh, I really do need to mark a path because I get so far out of whack going around these trees. Hi, Mr. Stortles. You guys probably didn't see him. He was headed towards the house. Um, and yeah, see, I get so out of whack uh, with the direction I'm going. We need to go this way because we have to go around the mountains. And uh, it used to be we could just like jump off of them <laughs> and there was no fall damage, but now we have to deal with fall damage. So now we have to go around them a little bit further north there or whatever direction that is. What direction is that by the way? Yeah, a little bit further towards the north. It is now day 138. It is May. My uh, timer is set to 300 minutes per month. Um, the foliage is still turned off. Uh, once I get the new computer, which I'm planning on buying soon, um, I'll be able to turn the foliage back on and it'll be super duper. Right now we can just look at the flowers occasionally when I'm not moving. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to <laughs> basically find my way. Oh look, there's a rock out here. I don't know how I could have missed that. That thing needs sharpening. I should have sharpened my tools. It's aluminum. There we go. Uh, I also made a second large flask, which is good because, yeah, I've used the water up. And we'll go back over here. And uh, so to put a tool away, it's zero on the numbers that are above the letters on your keyboard. The keypad zero does not work. Uh, at least it does not for me. I think we can slip through this passage right here. Looks a little misty. I am hoping uh, that it's not raining when we get to the bridge because I'd like you to see the bridge. It's not very fancy, not yet anyway. I might build a covered bridge uh, there because it is single wide, so those portico roofs would work great. I think we just need to slip around this right here and we will be able to go over there. Let's see here. Yep. There we go. Tree. <laughs> it's a beautiful game with or without the foliage turned on, but it's far prettier with the foliage. It's 
turn a little bit towards the river there. Wait, on my stamina. I spend most of my time in the shade, so I haven't had like any dealings with the sun resistance. That's not been a problem at all for me. Uh, the only time I'm in the sun is when I'm like just walking through it to get back to the shade. It's not particularly intentional, it's just that's just the way it is. There's the bridge. This is much faster. Now that I've uh, sort of done this pathway a few times, here's our little bridge. And I think I will make this a covered bridge uh, with uh, the posts and the portico roof, but I'll have to bring some uh, stuff out here. I missed the lights. See, I've got these set up. Some of them are on, some of them are not. Have to watch our step on the gravel here. I've taken to carrying the stuff to fix a broken leg on me all the time. And now that I have started carrying it, I haven't had a broken leg. <laughs> there is the glass house. Uh, I did put up a, a couple more uh, floors, but I'm not sure if I want them to go there or not. All right, we have a ton of carts here now, and uh, all the sand needs to go out there. I put in a doorway because I've turned on seasons. Um, this has got a ton of stuff in it, and there's cement. Uh, I did not bring the upgrade tool. Uh, darn it. Uh, I think that's off. Yeah, that's turned off. Do I have the power to turn it on? I do. I don't want the oil uh, pump to stop working, so I got lots of that. And let's see. That is one of the things that I brought with me. A, um, a coat. I cannot believe that I brought all of the oil with me. I needed it back at home and uh yeah that was a mistake um stuff and things seeds here we go put that in there the reason i'm carrying bark on me is because i need to make more plastic and i don't have that kind of workbench here so uh here's some more sand and lots of nails and some screws and there is some more sand so I think I might have enough um, glass. This is all sand, right? So we'll take this all down to the forge. Right in here. Are you gonna not set down on glass? There we go. And so more sand, empty. A little tiny bit of glass. Uh, here's steel. And here is steel in here. And what do we need? We need some... Um, some of that. We need some of that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and make another run of glass. I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like making another forge, but at the same time, I don't feel like it because it's a lot of um, bricks and I got to go home to make them. And because I'm not going to make all that equipment again, that's just a waste of material. All righty. We'll make some more glass. Someone was asking about um, protection um, from the sun when you're in a glass roofed building. Uh, technically, you're inside, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, what have I done here? Just need some glass, and I don't have that much on me. Um, 
there. We need, um, that's all sand. That is uncooked. Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm all right. Got loads of food up there on the roof. That needs to be made. That is more sand, more sand. I know I just went through this, uh, but I have to look again because I don't remember. Oh, gosh, what does it take? Um, placeables. Itempedia. Good grief. Uh, upgrade tool made on the regular workbench. One stick and one iron. We can do that. Uh, yeah, iron. Sticks. I think they're out here. Yeah. One stick and one iron on the regular workbench. That was lucky. Oh, I can't set it down because I've got another tool on me. Um, I think I can live without the spear, but I'm not sure it will disappear either. All right, there we go with that. Uh, let's see, these are five pounds each, so they are super heavy. There's 20. Uh, 10, 20, 30, that's too much weight because I'm carrying a bunch of other stuff. Seventy-seven. Do I not have anywhere to put bark chips? Maybe if I rearrange some stuff. There we go. Sixty-seven. Uh, yeah. All right. Been wanting to get this part done. There it is. Uh, all right, so 15 cement each. And a little bit more. And that's exactly 15. Perfect. All right. That worked perfectly. This cannot be here. The only thing that we can't, I wish that I could fill that in. But there's nothing I can do about it because uh, nothing will go there. Uh, there we go. It just won't, it won't go into the bank that far. Uh, it will on that side, but not well enough. But that's okay. Um, yeah. I think I need, um, I, my idea for just bringing the fragments, you know, was that I could bring a whole lot more steel with me if I brought that in fabric form. And um, I thought that would be better. And it, it is and it isn't. Because now I have to cook all this stuff uh, just to get to the uh, next stage. And I'd really like to alt-right-click alt stacks. <laughs> Alright, that will be just a minute. There is some more. 87 pounds. It's going to take a long time to get up there. Oh, this needs glass, so we'll do this. Uh, just one left. Oh, that needs a wall right there. Uh, can I put that in, though? No, it wants to attach to the bottom or the top. Okay. There we go. And, yeah. It's such a major slowdown... Uh, to have to stop and cook, stop and cook, um, which is why I was thinking that I really needed to um, 
make either make another forge or bring one or you know something along those lines how long do those last like that two hours all right I'm gonna regret that decision <laughs> so I'm gonna forget where they are and I'm gonna be like what did I do with that stuff <laughs> I don't regret making two flasks though, because that has just been uh, super helpful. I think I, uh, I needed that oil back at home. It's really like just driving me crazy because it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I don't have a complete setup here. You know, that means that I kind of have to do everything uh, this long way. Let's get this because this is faster. All right. Now let's see. Uh, this does have it. It's waiting on steel. This should all... Oh, there's one that needs screws. Should mostly all be waiting on steel. Is there something there? It's so hard to tell. Once you start framing glass, yeah, there's something there. It's uh, so hard to tell where uh, the glass is. That is almost done. That has what it needs. That has what it needs. And then this roof. How many nails do I have? Six. Or, I mean screws. Uh, 62. I already got that one. Okay. There we go. So it's like, uh, this is a lesson in um, preparation because... There is so much stuff that you have to do. Even if you prepare everything like I have, all the sand, all the steel fragments uh, ready to go, it still takes all of this time uh, to make stuff. And that's just the way that it, it goes, you know? We'll do another run of that. And go put in some steel. All right, first floor. <laughs> first floor? Yeah, first floor. <laughs> and now we can put in this wall. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and that will only need um, glass. And that's the point I want to get to where everything only needs glass. Now let's look up here. Um, see, that is roof. And we do need more roof there. Um, but I don't, I don't know, I don't think I wanna use this piece. I think I'll take that one away. Uh, I ran out of screws. Oh, no. <laughs> How long has that got? Plenty of time for me to go get copper. I've gotten a ton. Hi there, uh, Mr. Snortle's cousin. Or are you Mr. Snortle's? I can't tell. Maybe he followed us here. <laughs> I got a ton of... Um, screws from town. Here we go. That's lead, that's copper, and that's cobalt. Three copper is not good. That is all iron and steel. Alright. Not good. Not good at all. I do like that concrete though. That is awesome. And we'll 
get those three in there. Oh, oops. I suppose I could have done that on the little forge. It would have saved some time. <laughs> All right, I think that I can store the lead. I just want to check really quickly because I think I still needed to. All right, well, if I did, it would have taken it, right? Yeah. All right. Put that in there. We're waiting on the copper more than anything. So I have spent um, a huge amount of time at the other base. A, just a tremendous amount of time. Listen to me, you ringtail rat. If you don't want to become dinner, you better scooch a looch. Which way am I going there? All right. Uh, I spent a huge amount of time on that other base. Um, so it's possible that we can steal stuff, I mean, buy stuff from this town again. <clears throat> and I check a lot. I log out and log in to my game several times a day because I have uh, other games and other things to do. That's just cloth. Take a quick look around and see if it looks like it's respawned. Some clay soil. So one of the things that I decided that I wanted to do was to go ahead and put in um, more foundation. And... Um, just to make uh, the uh, area around there a little bit more um, solid. And to that end, I brought a ton of cement with me. Although I didn't like calculate it, I was just like bringing as much as I could carry because I had so much space available. And so much weight that I could carry, like, in my backpack. That's weird. Broken piece of glass there. Taters. It's another thing I'm looking for out here is onions and potatoes. And there's a nice flat area... Uh, on the other side here, in between these houses, there's like room for a house right here. <clears throat> I've noticed it a few times, or maybe the post office should go there. <laughs> Looks like this might have respawned. I'm pretty sure it's been 10 days. There's lots of potatoes here. Here's plastic. I need that. Not very steady here on the mouse today. Uh, one of the other games I was playing has um, the mouse smoothing is way, uh, way higher, I think. It's just naturally set way higher. Is there ever anything in this room? All right, let's go take care of the stuff. If I can get going the right direction instead of running into the trees. <laughs> Anything? Here's 10 screws. Cool. Uh, turn around. Go the other way. <laughs> I've pumped up my health to 198 and my stamina to 196. So 100 plus to go on both of those. Which is awesome because I can run really, really far now. Um, I messed up. There we go. I messed up a tiny bit. 
Here's another little flat area that's practically in the village. Just looking for places to build, you know. Um, there's a lot available around here. We can grab that copper and get another 30 screws. All right. Let's get rid of this glass and put more in while I'm running around. part of the entire process is moving sand back and forth. The rock grinder is awesome now because it doesn't give you so much that you can't put it away and uh, only 10 sand per rock is still double what we were getting before. So it's still a huge profit. Is there any fish today? Is the forge too hot? <laughs> I don't see any fish. They're probably all scared and on the other side of the other side of the compound. All right, we're just going over here to the um, anvil. And I am uh, obviously going to have to go back home again and get more copper again. Uh, or I can take the time and energy to build yet another mineral extractor and put it um, on the copper site that is right here. See, I didn't need very many. Uh, right here immediately. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We got some glass here. We can get a little tiny bit more done, and then I have to go and get copper again. You can only carry two crates on the um, on the log cart. And so space is at a complete premium. Uh, it's really crazy uh, trying to get things together. You know, just standing there at the other base, trying to think of what I need. And my primary concern was getting the oil pump done. And my secondary concern was getting food. <laughs> So most of the time was I was there, um, I was replacing all of the ingots and um, making food rations. I made one trip here uh, with, with the log crate and two um, storage containers. And um, I made, God, I'm like scared to step there. And I made um, a trip to one town, and I made a trip to another um, another cave. So let's see how this is going. Going great. Poor little bird. So this this craziness has been going on uh, all day yesterday, actually. So I got a video done for the update, when the update happened. And then um, I immediately went into trying to get this prepared. And I've logged in and out several times. I've changed the settings a few times. Uh, made sure that we were, whoops, I missed the bridge by a ton. Glad I didn't try to build it down there. Uh, made sure that we had um, all of the equipment and stuff set up and running. And I ran out of stamina. <laughs> Good grief. It takes a really long time to get the stamina recuperated. Such a long time. 
There we go. I mean, you can run really far, but, you know, you got to get all of that back. And I didn't bring the log cart. How silly. I could carry the screws. That's not a problem. I'm kind of surprised that I, like, didn't even think to make screws. But like I said, I was really struggling to figure out what to bring and what I can carry. And, uh... At least I got the cement and that done. Here's some more potatoes. I will take them. Uh, let's see, it's just over this hill. I find that walking sideways along these, I mean, you slip, but you don't fall down as much. And here's a pathway. Alrighty. That's the biggest thing that slows you down with having multiple builds is dealing with having to stop and take your time going downhill. <laughs> it's really crazy. Probably should have put an extraction site out here, but it doesn't extract uh, copper and iron you can put anywhere. There we go. I think I'm going the right way now. Come on, stamina. Oh no, I'm out of monster too. Good grief. Uh, so when we come back uh, next time, I'm going to try to make more sense, <laughs> try to have enough screws on hand. I have, God knows I've got enough copper, and uh, I don't think that the wind turbines require copper anymore, which is awesome. Uh, I have all of the lead, iron, aluminum, and cobalt that I need to make quite a few more. And um, wind turbines, that is. I just want to have like a comfort zone um, around what I'm trying to accomplish, you know. I want to be able to put up uh, lights and run them and not have to worry that the power is going to go out all the time. And I don't need that cucumber. I've got a whole farm over here. <laughs> I've got a fridge full of onions and <laughs> all kinds of good stuff. It's a good thing, too, because I didn't bring any food with me. There we go. Now, last time... I hit the gate. There it is, right there. Hit the gate, bang on. Uh, but I'll just show you really quickly, and then uh, when we come back next time, we're going to make a whole bunch more supplies and sort of get seriously ready to finish um, having... Uh, I needed that. To finish um, the glass house. So you can see I moved all of these ones that were in the back. And I added in between these rows and along the front. So we'll have a whole bunch more wind turbines going. They're all facing different ways because it's kind of sensible that, that, you, that they do. But um, they're facing different ways because when you're building them, you, you sort of you can't look up and see which way the turbine's facing. And it's really hard to judge. Um, based on uh, just what the bottom of one blade looks like, you know? So that makes it really difficult. Um, onions only give one, so you have to harvest them like twice as much as everything else and store them up for a while. And uh, winter is gonna be a little bit difficult, I think.
All right, we are home safe. It is uh, 7 p.m. We made it just fine. <laughs> and there's our awesome oil pump out there, uh, out behind the uh, brickworks. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this build in particular, though I don't feel like it's done at all. But I'm really happy with this one. <clears throat> we need to put up fences and protective spikes before we can turn on the Vambies. <clears throat> or we can just turn on the Vambies and fight them. I don't care. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to be uh, getting more better prepared to finish that glass house. We really don't have that far to go. Um, it's just a matter of getting the stuff cooked and ready to go. So we are going to get that done next time. If you are new to the channel, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. And please consider subscribing. Um, if you're enjoying the content, then please click the like button. And as always, have an amazing day.